Libra. In the past, we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Lovers and the Ace of Swords. I feel like with this Ace of Swords, you had clarity in the situation and with the Lovers card, you made a choice. The choice was something that wasn't your hopes and dreams like you may have originally thought. The Knight of Cups reversed is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Swords. Even though this Six of Pentacles is upright and should represent equal give and take, intuitively I feel like you gave more in a situation or were breadcrumbed. You were always waiting for someone to give to you but they knew they had the power and gave when they chose. With the King of Pentacles here in reverse, I feel like there was no foundation, stability or loyalty in this situation. It's very likely there was from your side, but it wasn't equally reciprocated with that Nine of Swords. Here, I feel like there were a lot of sleepless nights. The pillow on this card is standing out to me. The Lovers is clarified by the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed and the Three of Wands. I feel with the Three of Wands, a lot of time passed in this situation. Like you knew the potential of what this could be, but it never came to fruition. With the Three of Pentacles reversed, it wasn't a balanced collaboration and with the Nine of Cups reversed, was not emotionally fulfilling. The Ace of Swords clarified by the World, the Empress and the Eight of Cups reversed. I have this feeling like the end of a scene in a movie where the hero believes in themselves and saves the day. The song Eye of the Tiger is also in my head and may be, mean something to someone. The Ace is clarity and cutting straight through to the truth. The world is endings and new beginnings, feeling free to start a new chapter with the lesson learned. The Empress, knowing you deserve better and that for a time you may have thought this situation was the be all end all. However, there is a whole big world out there waiting for you with new adventures and new people to meet. This Eight of Cups reversed is giving me the vibe. It may not be the last time you hear from this person in this situation that didn't meet you halfway. They may return. In the present, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of craftsmanship, focus, mastering your craft. I feel like this is you changing your focus, either or both focusing more on yourself and other areas of your life. With the King of Pentacles reversed and Four Wands reversed, it's rebuilding your foundation and stability. You know what you want. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups, the High Priestess and Six Swords reversed. I feel with these clarifying cards, you might even be keeping yourself too busy to distract you from the feelings of the past situation. The Page of Cups is hopes, dreams and imagination and the High Priestess can be secrets. I feel like secretly with Six Swords reversed, you're struggling to move forward from that past situation. Logically, you know that it's for your highest good and you're taking action in that direction, but emotionally, it's not that easy. The King of Pentacles reversed is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I actually feel like this King of Pentacles reversed could be the person from this past situation and they may think a lot about rushing in or reaching out to save or revive this connection. I say this because I don't think they expected you to leave. The pentacles on the seven of pentacles take me straight back to the ones on the six of pentacles that we've seen in that past cards. They thought you would be always there and when, if they ever matured emotionally, then they would come back to you. The four of wands reversed, clarified by the four of cups, the king of wands reversed and the star reversed. They actually have huge regrets around this with the four cups reversed. With this king of wands in reverse though, they haven't changed or grown. They're still not in a position within who they are to offer you what you want. With the star card in reverse, they don't want anyone else to have you either though. In the future, we have the Eight of Cups reversed, the Magician and the Justice reversed. This Eight of Cups in reverse again, energetically at least, they think of returning. With the Magician, they are trying to manifest it, but with Justice reversed, I feel like the universe isn't going to help. They either level up or miss the boat. The Eight of Cups reversed is clarified by the Hangman reversed, the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. With this Hangman reversed, I don't feel like they are getting the lesson. They're not growing and understanding why this situation is as it is because of their actions. With the Two of Pentacles reversed, they know the direction they want to go, but with the Page of Pentacles reversed, they're not offering anything tangible. The Magician is clarified by the Hierophant reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, the King of Swords reversed. I'm sorry we are talking so much about this other person, but I'm guessing that's why you're having so much trouble moving forward from this situation. 
energetically, if not physically, they are still very present. I feel with the Hierophant reverse, they still can't offer a commitment or anything long term. Seven of Cups, again, knowing they want you, but with the King of Swords reversed, they also may not be communicating any of this. Justice reversed is clarified by the Queen of Cups reversed, Judgment and Ten Swords reversed. The truth is, with Justice reversed, this isn't balance. With the Queen of Cups reversed, I feel like they are all they also unbalance you, hence why you made the judgment call to walk away from this. Libra, if this resonates at all, I guess it's confirmation you have chosen you and are moving in the right direction, even though the releasing of this past situation is difficult. Keep moving forward. You've got this.